This is Honister Slate Mine, one of the oldest mines in the UK. As Children in Need is all about challenging yourself, I'm going to try and make it to the top. My route will take me five kilometres from the base of this mountain right to the very top. And to get there, I'll have to journey into the heart of the mine, climb a sheer cliff face... I don't know how I'm going to do this. ..and spend my night suspended hundreds of metres above the ground. With my fear of heights, this challenge is going to push me to my limits. First up, safety gear on. I'll be under the supervision of a stellar safety team headed up by Nash. Whew. So here we are at the opening to the mine. What lies inside, Nash? About 15 kilometres of uh, tunnels and caverns in there. You're joking, in through yeah, there? Yeah, we can go into this mountain and go all the way to the top inside the mountain. Right, Nash, it all sounds amazing. I'm ready to get cracking. Let's go. Onwards. These tunnels were made by miners hundreds of years ago. The ceilings are very low, and navigating through them is a real challenge. These tunnels seem to go on forever. Can you hear the echo? It's kind of spooky, but we go onward. Oh, boy, it really opens up here. This must be the main cavern. This is where I begin my ascent. I'm clipped in, I'm ready to start. Let's hope I can steady my nerves. Nash and his team will be overseeing my climb. Don't try anything like this yourself. OK, this is pretty scary. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I don't particularly like this, but I'm going to do you guys pride. My feet feel slippy, but... It's remembering that you are safe. With the rock face climbed, it's time to journey deeper into the mine. I'm going to try and get through this bit as fast as I can. And I'm going to run and jump. Legs up. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! OK, that's my favourite part so far. The adrenaline rush is real, but there's more to go. Let's get to it. After a brief scramble up some loose rock, I head into the mine's inner chambers. All right. Let's go. This part of the cave is in total darkness, and I can barely see where to put my hands and feet. Uh, oh, careful. It is absolutely pitch black. I can't see the same. And this sort of feeling around for stuff. It's the feet that scare. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're at the end. Following the light, I make my way out into the valley. Daylight at last. Woo! Oh, guys, that was a challenge. I'm feeling proud of myself. Never done anything like that before. And look at this view. Wow, it's beautiful. With the night setting in, it's time for some much needed food. I'm cooking lamb stew, the same meal that's been prepared by miners for centuries. I'll tell you what, I won't forget this epic dinner anytime soon. As the light fades, it's time to get to bed. But unbelievably, my bed for tonight is above the ground. And it's slippy as well, so you have to really hold on tight. I'm taking it slow but steady. OK, don't look down. The thing is, you sort of have to look down for your feet. <laughs> oh. The reality of spending the whole night up here is really starting to sink in. Oh, it's really windy up here. Ah! Oh, I don't like this. We're nearly there. In position, Nash comes out to help lower me down into my tent. And I need to be brave. Let your feet go off, your feet off. Uh -huh. Yeah, OK. Yeah. OK, I'm going down. Yeah. The wind is howling in my ears. Keep your nerve, Joel. And we've done it. Day one is complete. <sighs> Hello, everybody. I've had to lie down right away because the one thing I didn't take into account was motion sickness. I feel like I'm being rocked back and forth. The thing is, I'm strapped in to this 
which means I have to keep my harness on. So I'm sleeping in this gear, but I'm definitely not keen to look outside. Should, should we do it? Let's look outside. Oh my goodness, it is pitch black. Can't see anything. Maybe that's a good thing because if you could see the heights, that might be worse. I think my best bet is to get as comfy as I can and then try to get to sleep as quickly as I can as well. In my sleeping bag. Woo. Ooh, I've had a few hours of patchy sleep, but I keep getting woken up. It's very cold in here. I don't know if I'm going to get to sleep again. And that's really freaking me out. Ugh. Hello, everybody. Have a look. It's just about starting to get a little bit light outside, which means I'll be coming down soon. And this sound won't stop. That's been scaring me all night, to be honest. Woo! Come on! It's morning and I've survived the night. Not gonna lie, I can't wait to get out of this tent. Now the team has come to help get me down. Morning, Joe. What a way to wake up, eh? So, what are we going to do? We're going to sit on the edge of the ledge. Ah. Okay. Just ah. push away from the ledge. Bye, tent. It's been sort of fun. <laughs> Sweet land. Oh. oh good <laughs> yes. I feel so happy to be on solid ground again. I'm feeling proud of myself. I didn't think I'd ever do anything like that in my life. And looking back up, that is, that is scary. Oh, thanks. <laughs> After a quick bite to eat, it's time to push on. All right, next part of the challenge. I see where I have to go. Follow me. This is the Via Ferrata or Iron Way, a path of metal staples screwed into the cliff. Oh, that's a big drop. Let's go. <laughs> so high up. This is so intense, and my fear of heights is really setting in. Woo! All right, so now I need to make my way across, in, which looks treacherous, and up. This looks like the scariest part yet. Wish me luck. I don't know how I'm going to do this. My arms and legs are already burning from the strain of climbing. This is hard work and I'm feeling exhausted. And at the worst possible time, the rain arrives, making everything 10 times harder. Come on, Joel, keep going. At this point, I've been climbing for over three hours. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is the first time I felt like I kinda wanna stop and turn back. It's just so wet and slippy and I feel like I could fall. I summon up my last bit of strength. That was really hard. If the next bit's harder than that again, oh, forget it. Well, listen, we'll see. But somehow, I find the energy to keep going. Woo! Oh boy, that is hard. That's definitely harder than uh, the mine. And it's slippier and it's colder, but we have done it. The only thing is, as far as I know, there's a lot more to go. Onward. Oh, we're getting close. I think that's the worst of it over now. To the top. Whew, with the hardest part behind me, the end is finally in sight. Oh my goodness, I can see the top. Ah, we've come a long way, guys. This feels good. Whew. This has been the most intense experience I've had on Blue Peter and an absolutely epic children in need challenge. I'm cold, exhausted, in desperate need of a good night's sleep, but 
I have done it. Honester Slate Mine Challenge complete.